Hey, what's up? This is Micah Kohler, the course director for Intro to Editing and Visual Effects, coming back at you. Today we're going to be talking about simple logo creation using the CC lens effect in After Effects. To give you guys an example about what we're looking at, let's check out this simple little quick time that I got for you right here. Okay, we got a nice little revolution, almost a spherical effect. And then we actually have a nice little bit of lens effect and then perspective coming at us at the end. I think it looks pretty cool. Like I said, it's just a little bit of simple logo creation for your production company um, or maybe uh, just for yourself, whatever it may be. I think it's a cool little effect here that we can attribute just entirely in After Effects. We don't need to use any Photoshop or any Illustrator for this effect. And uh, here we are looking at it open on the timeline. These are some of the elements we're going to be keyframing and talking about today with the effect, talking about size, convergence, scale, and then rotation. So actually, like I said, we're going to be attributing an effect and then adjusting four of the keyframable elements for that effect. So I like it because uh, you know it gets us into the idea of keyframing multiple elements without getting too crazy with the effects. So let's get started here. As always, you know we're going to start with the new composition. So we'll go composition, new composition, or Apple N. And we're going to call this guy, let's call it CC Lens Effect because that's the name of the actual effect palette we're going to be using, the CC lens effect. And we'll make it about 15 seconds in duration. That sounds pretty good to me. Okay, step one, we're going to hit Command T or Apple T or our horizontal text tool, and we're going to write CC lens effect. For these initial parameters, I'm going to use an impact font. And I'm going to make it size 50px. That sounds pretty good to me to start. Okay, simple part is done. We just built our text. Now we're going to highlight the layer on the timeline. We're going to go under Effect. And actually, I have it right here, but we'll do it together. Okay, we're going to go under, uh, it's actually under Distort, and it's going to be CC Lens. You guys saw me, I was actually searching for it under Generate, which has some other good effects, but this one is under Distort and CC Lens. Okay, cool. From its initial parameters, it looks a little bit funky to me, so we're going to have to adjust that accordingly. Okay, My adjustments I'm going to be making in the effect control. If for whatever reason you guys don't see your effect control, right where your project palette should be, you can always highlight your layer, click on effect, and go effect control right there. It's going to be the first one under that effect pull down. Okay, but let's get started. First thing we're going to be dealing with is size. So let's click on size, and we're going to click on the stopwatch for size. Okay, I'm going to start out with my size of zero. And guess what happens when we go size zero? Okay, if it's 0, 0.0, it's not going to be apparent at the moment. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump ahead to let's say, you know, let's jump to about one second. Okay, I'm going to click on my current time indicator or go to time and type in one zero zero. Okay, so at one zero zero, I'll tell you what, let's have it go to let's say size, let's try 75. So we'll type in manually 75 and see what that gets us. Okay, it looks okay to me. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty good to me. So that's part one of what we're talking about. Okay, the other thing we need to do, actually, what I'd like to do is I'd like to start it with a little bit of a rotation. Okay, so maybe it's rotating into its eventual property here. So let's do that right now, might as well. So we'll click on our text in the timeline and we're going to hit R for rotation. I'm going to start it out with a 0 times 90 degrees. Okay, so you guys know if I were to leave it like that it's going to get a little funky but I'll tell you what at 2 seconds we'll jump there in the current time indicator type in 2 0 0. Let's bring it back to its normal uh, rotation. Oops, let's see did I actually keyframe that? Oop, I forgot to. So I'll tell you what, so at 0 0 we want to keyframe it at 0 times 90 degrees. Then at two seconds, which is our next point, we're going to make it not zero times 90 degrees, it's going to be zero times zero. Okay, the effect of this, if we were to render it right now, let's do a quick little B, N, and then render, is we have a nice little rotation on it as well. Okay, I'll tell you what, it doesn't look exactly perfect to me. I'd like those two to actually be in sync with each other. So let's look at all the keyframes we have on the timeline. To do that, you guys know we can hit our layer, highlight it, and hit the U key for the Uber key. So I'm going to actually have my size and rotation act accordingly. So I have to take that little size keyframe and move them over a little bit to two seconds. So let's take a quick little render. It's a little bit better. I kind of like 
that. It's a nice kind of little effect. They're both moving together. Okay, looks pretty good to me. So we have a nice little rotation and changing the size of our lens effect. Almost like it's coming out from the center point as a sphere and then dissipating. I kind of like that, looks pretty good to me. So the next stage of the effect is gonna be adjusting the convergence. And you guys will see what I mean in a heartbeat right here. So at two seconds down here in the timeline, we're gonna start messing with or adjusting our convergence. So I'm gonna click on that little guy right here and click on his stopwatch. Okay, for the convergence, I'm gonna start it at 100 at two seconds in the timeline. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump ahead, let's say maybe we'll jump ahead about three seconds here to five seconds in the timeline. So I'm gonna click on my current time, go to five seconds, five, zero, zero. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my convergence from 100 to negative 200. So I'm gonna type in that manual number right up here in my effect control. Boo bam, as my friend Kurt would say, and check that out. We got a nice little effect here if we're actually to hit the Uber key again. Look at that, we got a few keyframes kicking already. We got size, we got convergence and rotation. And this is the effect if I just scrub through it. It's gonna start out as a little circle. It's gonna rotate, remember, from 90 degrees back to zero, zero. And now we have a nice little convergence effect. And check out what that convergence effect does. It's gonna dissipate the edges of that sphere. It's gonna look really nice. And then it's actually gonna bring up our text at a nice little angle. It's almost gonna seem like a triangle effect on it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Where of course the S is gonna have a little bit of a Z property or three dimensional aspect. Okay, where basically the S is brought towards us a little bit and the edges like C and the T are back towards the background. Kinda cool little effect. But we have a, a cool little coup de gras right here and we're gonna have a nice little effect where we're gonna have a scale to it as well. Okay, so basically at the end right here at five seconds, I'm gonna actually now punch into my scale property. So I'm gonna click on my layer down here in the timeline and hit S for scale. Okay, so I'm gonna actually keyframe this guy right here. So at the moment, of course, it's 100 by 100, horizontal by vertical. And then let's click to, let's say, how long do we wanna do it for? Let's think, let's try one second and see how it goes. We might wanna actually make the effect two seconds, but for the moment, we'll click to six seconds down on the timeline. So we'll type in 600, okay? And let's actually just bring up the scale a little bit because I wanna make my title or my logo a little bit bigger. Let's do something like 175. That looks pretty good to me for my second scale keyframe. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's render it out right now. I'm gonna click on my little RAN preview button right here in my time control. And let's check out this effect. Okie dokie. So we have the size. We also have the convergence, rotation, and scale. A lot of things going on almost at the same time. I think it's a cool little logo right here for you guys, for a production company or for a character's name. And if we actually were to click on the title and hit the Uber key, look at all those things we have. Like I said, guys, we have size and rotation going at the same time. Okay, And then from two seconds to five seconds, we have our convergence, which is animated as well. And then that little coup de gras at the end is just our scale, increasing the size once it's been converged. And I hope you guys like that. It's a pretty cool little logo effect for our effect. It was only six seconds long. And I think it looks pretty sharp. I like to get you guys in the mode for simple logo creation for things like production company logos. So I hope you guys like that little CC lens effect. I hope I didn't go too fast for you guys. If I did, just click back in the quick time and go step by step. Like I said, we're dealing with four separate elements size and rotation at the same time, then convergence, and then finally the coup de gras, which is scale. So this is Micah Kohler, the course director for Intro to Editing and Visual Effects, signing off. I hope you guys love this little simple logo creation effect using the CC lens effect in After Effects. That's all for now. Hope you guys loved it, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.